Downtown Enterprise is about to experience a renaissance. Today marks exactly one year since a massive fire gutted several businesses downtown and soon we'll see one of the first reopenings of one of the lost businesses. WDHN's Robert Smith has a look tonight only on WDHN. The corner was one of the three businesses on the corner of Main and College Street that were destroyed by a morning fire one year ago in downtown Enterprise. Since the tragedy, the help from the community has been comforting. Coffee Corner has been working out of a trailer that was given to them from another coffee shop for the last year so they could continue business during the holiday season when they typically make a third of their revenue. Now, a year later, they will be in the same area but in a much bigger and noticeable space as local business owners encourage them not to rebuild and move into the former serendipity boutique building after it was repaired from being damaged by the demolition earlier this year. Every business owner on this street has everybody else's back. They're all helping each other. There's no competition. There is community and it really is true. It's not a fairy tale. We would never have been able to come into this space without all the different people. I mean, Sanders Construction loaning us a trailer so we could go pick up bookshelves in Georgia yesterday. The relocation comes after their coffee shop on College Street that was behind the She Shed gift shop was wiped out after Enterprise fire officials say an accidental fire started near the kiln of the All About Art studio that was next door, taking down all three businesses. Chancey says it was a whirlwind of emotions that day. She was trying to contact her husband who was overseas in South Africa about the fire and it was her daughter's birthday. We were out here emptying the historical society next door to make sure all those documents didn't get burned. There was just a human chain of people helping, saying, put us where you need us. What can we do for you? And we all just kind of held each other and cried and looked at what was happening. But we all knew at that point we will come back from this because that's the kind of town we are. In fact, Chancey says they are planning to open back up in about five weeks, just in time for downtown open house. This will be the first business to reopen on the corner. Right now, they are putting on the finishing touches like painting and doing electrical and plumbing work. She says this new location will be more of a bookstore cafe. There is so much we can do in this huge space. We're going to have room in the back for things like book clubs and Bible studies and men's groups. We're going to have a whole children's area with board games and readers who'll come in on the weekend to do read alouds for the kids. And we're even hoping to do some evening events like jazz nights. For the other businesses, their future plans remain uncertain. In Enterprise, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.